Hi everybody. How you doing? Let me introduce myself. My name is Andrew Westberg, and I have a huge fascination with the Bible and the scriptures. And I enjoy helping people discover sacred secrets about the Bible. I enjoy going on Bible studies with people, helping them to learn the truth about God's message and helping them to make connections about what God says and about his promises for the future. So in the coming weeks, maybe very shortly, I'll be putting out another video for helping you form complete connections with complete list according to certain subjects, such as the resurrection, Babylon the Great, political neutrality, also known as Christian neutrality, Another various genre, according to the Bible. Well, you'll see what it is. Uh, the first scripture I'd like to introduce you to is 2 Timothy 2.18. It talks about how some people have deviated from the truth and saying that the resurrection has already happened. That was going on back in those days. Another scripture you may want to look up is Acts 24.15. And 1 John 519, also Revelation 21, 3 and 4, but that's not all of it. There's also some others in 1 Kings and 2 Kings, and uh, I just want to put you at ease with what's going on out there. I know in today's society, not easy to get the ball rolling with reading the Bible, reading the scriptures, but uh, that's what I'm here to help with. That's what we're all here to help with. I do ascribe to a certain religion. And for copyright infringement reasons, I'm not going to mention it right now, maybe later in the future. But there is a severability clause, which I stick to. And so, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, or please like the video, and donations are accepted. So, my name is Andrew Westberg once again. I'm not trying to draw attention to myself, but rather draw attention to the scriptures, to God's word, and his message. Okay. God has in store a very bright future for mankind. So that's what we'll start off with with the next video. It's about the resurrection and many other various genres. So that's all for right now. Let's keep God in our prayers and keep many different versions of, of the Bible in our minds, you know, because it's good to... Uh, Get a complete understanding on what the Bible says from various perspectives. And so, I'd like to leave it there with you. I won't take up too much of your time. All right, thank you.